Hey everybody, this is Lord Azroth, and I thought I'd bring another uh, tutorial today. So, one thing that's really useful in this game is having high toughness. And, you know, when you get new recruits, especially in mid to late game, because maybe you lost people, maybe you just want to make your team bigger, the low toughness can really suck, because, I mean, you can have people die pretty much instantly in combat. Or you might not be able to get to them in time during the fight to where they'll bleed out. So, what you want to do is get uh, masterwork armor. Well, mostly. Crab works, uh, samurai armor, I, maybe not the holy nation because the arms are exposed and having no arms would make this impossible. And uh, you just find some bandits. Like I said, I got one toughness. Stow yourself in some bandits and you should be fine. I got a backup character just in case, but I shouldn't need them. You can actually do this starting out as well. If you want to go up here, I think his name is the Armor King, up in Holy Nation territory along this river at the Downed Ruins. He sells Masterwork and Specialist Armor if you, I don't know, want to cheese it, get a stealth character, steal a bunch of stuff, and I don't know, do it that way. But essentially, we're going to run to a camp. in here and start fighting them and we're gonna lose just fast forward it don't even matter see even at one time I mean the armor really helps I mean, he's already got 15 toughness just from getting beat up. Which is actually what I was trying to do originally. Was, I just put heavy armor on somebody. Because it technically, you earn less toughness XP when your armor's high. Because you're not taking as much damage. But I was like, screw it, it's a safe way maybe. And, uh, man, he's put up a fight. So now that his toughness is already 19, he's got a good chance to get, like, you know... Not staying out because it's minus 25 KO points, and they'll never make him reach that because of his armor is so good, and that the fact that they're weak. So now he's what negative three in his stomach. Put him on. If you put it their jaw on medic, they'll start healing themselves when they're down. Now here's the key to it, where it says he's playing dead. It even says in the tooltips and loading screens, if you get up while you're playing dead, you get you know, uh, toughness XP. Well, it's toughness is 21. When I get up, it's 24. Yeah. Now here's where it gets great. Knocked out again, instantly. I don't even have any injuries. And as soon as the time runs out, it's 20 seconds, not even a long wait. So toughness 25, 28. Of course it slows as you get higher level, but I mean, at 20 minutes you can probably get it to 90. I mean, if you really want to do that. I mean, depending on where you're at in the game and what your other people's toughness is, I would just try to match that. See? 31. Thirty-four. Now it's thirty-six. Now I'm going to cut away and probably do this for maybe 10 minutes or whatever and uh, we'll, we'll see what the toughness is. We'll try to get it to maybe 75. Alright, that literally took 5 minutes to get to 75 from where we last were. And I probably spent what? 3 minutes before that. Like 8 minutes. 75 toughness. And the thing is it actually does level up other things too. I mean my dexterity is 13. This was a, a basic character so all these stats were 1. Yeah, strength is 2, toughness is 75, dexterity 13, attack is 13, katana is 13, melee defense 34. So it's definitely a good way to get your characters back into a fight if you lose some team members. So, hopefully that helps you all. I don't know, if it, it could be considered cheesy, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's how the game's mechanics work, and you're just, you're just fast tracking at that point. So... If this video helped you out, like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you all next time.